Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is on how to do your own pastel crocheted twist. So it's kind of a long process. There's a lot of different things used. Um, so what I used was um, light colored hair that I got on Amazon, some speedball super pigmented acrylic ink, um, rubbing alcohol, a spray bottle, and a sponge. And this is the hair that I got from Amazon. I got six packs because I wanted my, my braids to be really flat and thin. Um, but you might need like nine packs if you want to go for a more full look. So all I'm doing here is just spreading it out onto the tarp, getting it ready for the paint. And now to mix the paint, I'm just going to put a few drops. I'm not doing actual measurements because I'm part Indian and Jamaican. We just don't do that. But I'm, I'm going to put about four times the amount of rubbing alcohol to the ink. So a few drops of the ink and then a few squirts of the rubbing alcohol. And then just spray that onto the hair. I ended up using a sponge to kind of blend out the color because I wanted to do an ombre look and I knew I was going to do more than two colors so I wanted it to be really blended and look really seamless and the sponge really really helped with that. Also if you don't use a sponge or something to kind of brush it through then you end up getting these like spots and streaks from the spray bottle because it's just not being sprayed as evenly. And then just flip it over and do the same to the other side. For the middle color, I was going for kind of a pink, so I did a lot of white ink and then some a little drop of purple, but the pink kind of ended up washing out at the end, but it's okay because it still gave me a nice gradient. So I just sprayed that in the middle and then flipped it over and did the other side. And just to show you how easily it blends out, once you get the ink on there, if you go over it immediately with the sponge, it blends out really easily. And for the last color, I just put in some purple dye and sprayed it over the braids to get that kind of darker gradient ombre dramatic kind of look. All right, now time for it to dry. So I let it dry for about 12 hours, and then I'm gonna just rinse it out, make sure that the water runs clear. So it took me about 10 minutes to rinse it thoroughly, made sure that no more ink was left, like absolutely none. And this is it when it's dry the next day, so about another 12 hours. Now that the twists are done, I can get into actually crocheting. So this is the pre corn rose because I'm not a great braider so I have to like have a pattern first. So I just did some straight backs and I'm going to actually corn row those down now with my naked laid edge control to kind of give me some slip and some hold. So I use the naked edge control to make my hair kind of stiff so that it'll be a lot easier to twist into the the twist when it comes to the perimeter and it'll be a lot easier to crochet in the braids because it'll give my hair some hold and it won't be as soft and the braids won't be as loose. So I did the perimeter and I did my part and I wanted a middle part so I just did a few plaits in the middle so that it'll still look natural. I just personally, I don't like that whole crochet look where like you can see the line and like you know that that's where the crochet was, you know. So I wanted it to, to look kind of natural, especially when it comes to the part. So once it's all braided back and plaited, I'm going to go ahead and crochet it in and it took me a long time so time lapse that crap. All right, so to crochet in, it's there's a bunch of videos of this on YouTube, so I'm not going to go super in-depth. But basically, you just slip the crochet hook underneath the hair, put the twist in, close the hook, slip the twist out, and run the twist basically through itself. So put the twist back through the hole. And you're going to do the same technique when it comes to the plait. So slip the crochet needle underneath the plait and slip the plait and the twist back through the twist. Now take some more edge control, stiffen up the hair a little bit, 
and you're basically just gonna twist the plaid into the twist. So twist the plaid around the twist, open the twist and slip the plaid in and then wrap it around and do it again. So I'm gonna do a close up so you can see. So twist it around, open the twist, slip the plait in, twist it around again, and just keep going. And that's it. That is the completed look. This took me about three days because of the dyeing, the corn rowing, and the crocheting. And plus I'm just lazy and I have no patience. But this is how it came out and I'm super happy with it. It was definitely worth the three days. And don't worry, I'll put all the links to where I bought everything down below. It was, everything was from Amazon, of course. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and check me back here for my next video. Bye.